Hi, I'm Sue. I'm from Mandurah, Western Australia. Mandurah is about 80 kilometres south of Perth, the capital of Western Australia, on the coast, on the west coast of Australia. And um, I'm just going to show you what's happened to me since I've had PD, as far as art goes. In 2010, I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. After two years of wondering what the heck was wrong with me, they finally got a diagnosis. I thought at the time it was the end of the world, but then I thought, maybe not. My, I read a lot of from Michael J. Fox, and he said um, he hasn't got a choice of what he... Of whether he has Parkinson's or not, but he, what he does have surrounding that choice is a million other choices that he can make. So I thought, well, I'm not going to just mope in the corner. I'm going to get on with it. So I continued teaching for a few years and then had to stop. I was, I was always a frustrated artist, um, junior primary teacher. I used to draw a dog and the kids would say, that looks like a cow, not a dog. And I wasn't very good. I had pictures in my head, but they wouldn't come out on paper. Because my kids were very good. This is my, one of my daughter's piece of work over here. And my son is very good as well. His work's in the garage. Um, and But I couldn't draw it to save my life. But then January last year, I started to try and draw. I wanted to draw a fish and I couldn't do it. So I started to try and fiddle around with birds. My hands wouldn't do what they were told. March 23rd, I had a sort of a bit of a um, traumatic occurrence. And after that, I started to paint. I wanted to paint happy things. Painting takes me to my happy place. Um, I started off drawing birds and these are what I was doing. When, the, when my hands weren't working doing as they were told to do, I would do the backgrounds. I'd plaster paint on this hand and do the backgrounds. And in a month, I did all these. Then I, uh, I had an exhibition at the Niche, the headquarters of Parkinson's WA last year and I exhibited 64 pieces of art and got some really good comments which was amazing and I sold quite a few to raise money for Parkinson's as well. At the moment I'm getting ready to do another um, exhibition and these are some of the, my works. I started to do go away from the birds. My girlfriend wanted emus and I started doing some emus. Then I had a really bad patch where my hands just wouldn't do as I told so I started to do some acrylic pouring as well. So I'm getting them ready now. These are my pores. I do them on canvas and I find them very relaxing to do. Some more, some more here. And my emus. To do therapy on my hands, to make my hands work a bit better, I'm trying to do something like this. Trying to get the small details of my hands. But I enjoy doing that as I enjoy doing that at night when I've got nothing else to do and I'm sort of winding down. But I really like doing the emus. These are paintings that are, are finished but haven't been framed yet. They show a bit, a bit of a diversification. I went off on a tangent, being outback inspired here. Um, and then really working on my fine motor skills, doing those little tiny things. Someone wanted a frog, which was bad. And so I just tried all different sorts of things, but I still kept coming back to the emus. This is one of my earliest ones. You can see there's a huge difference in the shape of the bird's wings and the colours. No corner of my house is safe. There's paintings stacked up in every corner. This is my daughter's bedroom, full of bits and pieces of mine. I put a lot of my artwork onto bags now and sell the bags to raise money for Parkinson's WA. Big bags, small bags and T-shirts. A layman's guide to decoding the Parkinson's mask and a few others that I do little pictures for and sell as well. These are some of my shopping bags. They're selling quite well at the moment because we're going plastic free. And I make these big, they call them my ABBA pants. They're the big flares. I've got that pair and I love them. They're the most comfortable pants ever. When my meds aren't quite right, I can do the backgrounds. Actually, I'm not this fast. I think my grandson's making me look a tad faster than I really am. If only it was this quick. I like to give the background. I like, I'm in my yellow phase at the moment. I like to give the background a sort of an Australian outbacky look about it. Because I can do this when I'm not quite, when my meds are not quite working because I don't need to be very fine motor. I'm work, they're working pretty good at the moment, so I can go backwards and forwards. 
when this is dry, I'll put um, paintings on the top, swirls, stencils, um, blobs, all sorts of things, just to give the background a bit of texture. And then I'll put my emus on top of that. You can probably relate to the fact that you can't do repetitive movements like cleaning your teeth or stirring a cup or um, sprinkling sugar on anything. I try for therapy, I do dots on my bird's legs. Trouble is, when I try to do it, I can do two and then I can't, it just doesn't work. It's just try as hard as I can, I cannot get them to dot. So I found a solution. I found is to get a music with a good beat and that'll get you going. And this is, I found this is the best beat to do the dots. Get myself psyched up. See, I can do it now. So all you're going to do is find yourself something with a good beat, and this American Idiot by Green Day happens to have a great beat, and then you can do that. Who would have thought Green Day'd be helping me paint? painting and um, my hands aren't working I just it's only my right hand that doesn't work so what I do is I put paint on here and use it as a brush and get my backgrounds like that so if I get the urge to paint and I'm in an off period I just use the, you've got to adapt dream believe adapt achieve that's what you've got to do Parkinson's doesn't stop you having a life it makes you have to change the way you look at things and change the way you do things I don't have a choice that I've got Parkinson's, but I have got a choice of what I do with it, and I want to go forward. I want to keep painting. I want to do take me to my happy place when I'm painting. My kitchen is covered in paint. There's paint on every surface of my house. There's paint on me all the time. I go to the hairdressers, and she wants to know what I've been painting that was yellow or green or red or purple or something because that's in my hair. I've got I'm all over my clothes. I don't. I don't think I own a top without. Um, paint on it because even though I try and wear something old I get the urge and suddenly I have to do it and I just have to start and everywhere you look an emu is looking at you I hope this has given you some hope that you can be creative with Parkinson's and thanks for listening and watching bye